Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on simple Megascans foliage variation because we never covered it in the overall Let's Build the RPG series. And at the end of this tutorial, I'm adding two additional tips you might know already. So if you've worked at all with the foliage system in Unreal Engine, you probably have already gotten to this point where you're painting foliage and you've got all your assets on the board, but you're looking at this and thinking, well, they all seem just a little too perfectly green. And luckily, there's some really quick tips and tricks that we can spice this up just a little bit. And you can vary up the foliage just slightly, or you can do something a little bit more over the top. So to start, we gotta go into our Megascans material here. So the first thing I wanna show you is color variation. And this scale is very sensitive. So you can get a crazy amount of color variation. So if I do one, it's everything from light pastels to really dark colors. You'll get a lot of variation very quickly, but it's all over the place. You'll notice that the colors, you know, don't really share any pattern. Now, if your intent is to just have some subtle variation, I would set this to something like 0.03. So now we have some dark brown green, some darker green and some lighter green. But let's say you also want some seasonality. Like let's say you want seasons to change in the game and want to make your foliage look all bright and colorful and seasonal. So for that, we have our color overlay and you could pick that. And this is going to be the general tone tint of the foliage. So for something that's autumn, probably make it orange to yellow, like something around here. But that just kind of looks, well, a little bit brown and dead, right? So we can intensify that quite a bit. So overlay intensity up to 10. And you got to keep in mind that this color overlay is basically a multiplier on the existing foliage color. So it's not overriding the color, it's altering the color of green based on what you put in here. So what I encourage you to do is just open the color picker and play around with that. Because let's say instead of like the bright red that I have here, maybe I want to move it more toward the yellow. Yeah, so you see I get some more green, but I can very carefully kind of move it in to the yellow and there we go pump up the color variation a little bit and the two last bonus tricks i want to show so both of these are really simple and i found this very early in my unreal engine career that if i wanted to make the leaves look wet let's say the best way to do it is just change the roughness intensity right here and i found a setting of about 0 0.1 0 0.05 it's perfect. It just gives that, that glistening, like slightly bluish tint. And the very last tip, I'm using this for my own game, but don't tell anyone. So this isn't related to variation at all. You could use it for foliage variation, but what I'm doing is I wanted to make my foliage look like ultra sharp, like ultra real. And I found that cranking up the normal intensity is something ridiculous, like 500. So just watch the leaves here. So that's a little bit ridiculous, but it's an easy stylization tip that you can play around with the intensity of how your foliage looks based on this normal intensity. So that's it for foliage variation. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.